you know, in the course of MS care, you know, patients are generally seen once or twice a year. And what they bring into that clinic visit is usually measured um, by their neurologist and tracked by their neurologist. Um, but a lot happens in the disease course in between those visits. And oftentimes what a patient's able to recall or report in you know, that once annual clinical visit isn't quite capturing their experience of disease. So what we wanted to try and do is figure out how can we monitor patients in between those clinic visits and how can we complement what the neurologist does in the office. So we developed a tool that's called Floodlight and it's delivered on a smartphone, so it's an app on a smartphone. And the goal of it is to focus on a few key areas of function. So we know that there are certain areas that, you know, MS can affect, you know, almost any domain of function, but a couple key domains of function that we wanted to look at were um, cognition, um, upper extremity function, and then ambulation or lower extremity function. So we decided to start with those three key domains and we built this tool that is to provide um, a way to actively measure those domains of performance. Um, it's delivered on a smartphone. Um, it's a series of active tests, meaning the patient is asked to do a series of tests that measure either cognition, upper extremity function, or lower extremity function. Um, and the patient's asked to do it you know, every day if possible. So what we want to try and do is get a, a really um, detailed footprint or a picture of kind of what the patient's functionality in between cl clinic visits is. So a patient's asked to do a series of measures every day which are, um, you know, not every measure is every day, but the idea is to get kind of a, you know, nearly continuous measurement of function so that we can track trends over time. Um, and then the neurologist can potentially, you know, hopefully use that information in the future to help complement their, their visit. Um, we, we maintained domains of, of functional areas that were important to neurologists but also important to patients because those are all areas where um, impairment in those domains can lead to disability like leaving the workforce for example. So if you're having trouble with your upper extremities, if you're having trouble with your hand motor function, it's very difficult sometimes for patients to maintain their usual work life. So we wanted to focus on those kinds of areas that were really important. You know, what, what we experience in the clinic is that patients want to track their function in all kinds of different ways. So I've had the experience where patients are bringing in an Excel spreadsheet of how far they walk that day. They're bringing their activity monitoring data. They're bringing their online cognitive testing data. They're bringing in their food diaries. And um, you know, patients want to try and understand how their day-to-day -day functioning is going to, you know, look like in the big picture. And I think that it can create a really frustrating clinical visit in that a patient is coming in with their data that they worked very hard to collect. Um, the physician or the clinician doesn't really know how to consume that data and that it's not in the language that a physician can understand. So, you know, we want to ask the question of, you know, what if we can help a patient track domains that are important to patients and physicians? And what if we can make that consumable by both the patient and the physician? And so well, it's, that's kind of where we headed in that, you know, you know, aspirationally, what if we can create a monitoring tool that can be looked at by both the physician and the patient? Um, and what if it's gonna help drive that next um, you know, clinical decision in the future?